In this module, we shall delve in the concepts surrounding data extraction from networks. Sniffing, as the name suggests, is defined as the process of identifying activity in a network by observing the packets that are being transmitted. It is also known as packet level inspection as the process involves looking closely at the data passing through the network in the form of packets. A technique for in-depth analysis of networks, the applications of sniffing are immense and it is used virtually in every device which offers protection at network level. Apart from security usage, it is very handy tool for deep level network analysis for troubleshooting and monitoring purposes. Now since the concept of sniffing offers an in-depth analysis, it is often altered to achieve unsavory ends. Employing sniffing in networks leads to loss of huge volumes of data, which is critical and non-critical. If proper security mechanisms are not put in place, it could turn out to be a serious threat. Elaborating on the specificity in data compromise, the nature of data that would be under threat is that of login credentials, important documents, sensitive email content, etc. With so many tools easily available nowadays and with GUI based tools on rise, even people with little or no technical knowledge can utilize this technique to cause considerable damage. This figure demonstrates a basic network topology and how and where sniffing is employed in order to extract relevant data from the network. Here, the hosts are interconnected through a network switch which intelligently handles the data going through the network. The sniffer is kept between the hosts and the switch and it acts as a go-between or as an intermediary between the hosts and the network switch or router to intercept traffic and extract relevant data from it. The sniffer can be a physical tap or a virtual device or just another host on the network employing certain techniques for traffic interception. Now sniffing can be categorized into two major categories, passive sniffing and active sniffing. The basis of categorization of this process depends upon the mode of operation employed. Since the volume of data traversing through the network is quite enormous, the operation modes define the complexity of the overall process. It is indeed a very crucial factor for determining the suitable method for each network environment. Based on the network setup, the relevant form of sniffing is employed in order to obtain the desired information. Let me first elaborate the concept of passive sniffing. Passive sniffing refers to the process of passively observing the data passing through the network. In passive sniffing, the data packets are intercepted and forwarded without any form of modification. While passive sniffing offers less control over the data passing through the network, it is certainly less intrusive and much harder to detect as the symptoms of passive sniffing are much less prominent. It only captures the packets passing through and does not generate any new packet. Real-time monitoring proves to be effective for combating such methods. From a security perspective, this is a non-intrusive method that can be used for monitoring user activities on the network. Active sniffing is a technique which is frequently employed to test network devices and web applications. It refers to the process of actively observing the data passing through the network. In active sniffing, the data packets are intercepted and forwarded with provision for modification in data fields of the packet. Active sniffing offers more control over the packets passing through the network. However, it is correspondingly more intrusive and can be detected with proper mechanism in place. In addition to capturing the data packets, it can replay those packets or resend such packets with modified information such as spoofed addresses or malicious payloads. Now, although sniffing is a common phenomenon at present, there are ways to combat it and not all protocols are susceptible to it which leads to certain constraints when information has to be extracted from the network traffic. Most protocols which do not encrypt their data before transmitting it through the network are vulnerable to data compromise through sniffing. Some of the protocols which are vulnerable to such attacks or techniques are Telnet, HTTP, SMTP, POP, FTP and so on. Some of the data that can be extracted using such ways include user credentials, images, files transmitted and received, etc. With the advent of with the advent of 
internet our reach has almost expanded exponentially and with hold of tools within everyone's grasp it is no wonder such techniques are being used to achieve unsavory purposes some of the most common softwares that are used for this purpose are wireshark tcp dump cane and able and a host of other tools the choice of tools is entirely dependent on the user's preference and mostly on the platform that one is working on most of the tools are ported for multiple operating platforms such as windows and linux